For most communities, images like these are seldom what they want visitors to remember, but not in Canyon City. It is our industry here in Fremont County, the prison industry, and we're very proud of it because they have to go somewhere, so why not here? Canyon City has been housing the state's lawbreakers since before Colorado was even a state. And this is a replica of how it used to look. Nancy Larson runs the Colorado Prison Museum in what used to be the women's prison, located next door to what she calls Big Mama. First inmate arrived next door in 1871, and there's still inmates there today. It's the women's prison isn't the only thing next door to Big Mama. Sitting on the corner in the shadows of a stone wall since this old Victorian home, a faded inscription still shows who used to live here. It is off the prison grounds because the warden himself lived on the grounds. So you had to have someone off the grounds in case of a riot or any uprising at that point that he could go and get help. The house was built around 1901 and hosted many deputy wardens and their families. It's a sad cry from what it was. It used to keep it up well. There used to be some big trees out in front here. Dean Marshall remembers many of those families who lived there, growing up with them as a child and also through 20 years working as a prison guard. The first ones that I remember living there was Captain Gentry and his family. And um, then after him, why, Mr. Holmes, he was the uh, business manager. He lived there for a while and then the Copperthwaite came in after he. And Mike Cowperthwaite remembers it fondly. Lived here for about 12 years in the 60s and early 70s. So I was, uh, I was around 13, 14 years old, and uh, it was pretty exciting, to say the least. The house is a big house. It's got a full basement and a full upstairs. The rooms are all large. Growing up with a prison in your backyard took a little getting used to. We had a couple of escapes over the wall that I witnessed. Uh, one, uh, my, my father and another friend tackled in the yard before the guards got here. And but the house came with a staff, prison labor. They would uh, talk to the kids. Uh, they weren't supposed to, but in passing, we would have some conversation occasionally, and they were always polite and, uh, and an example of what you shouldn't be doing, and that's why they were here. After Mike's family moved out, the Department of Corrections used the house for offices, but maintenance became deferred. And I had a friend that worked in there and they used to take care of the building themselves so they wouldn't have to leave it because they enjoyed working in there so much. Today the building sits vacant. It's not a priority. The newer facilities from my understanding are in need of upkeep because they house the inmates. Nancy would like to see the house added to the museum. I know the public would like it. We get a lot of comments during our tourism season. Can they go down and see that house? Unfortunately for now, all they can do is look from the sidewalk as tightening budgets chip away at a piece of Canyon City's proud heritage.